Okay, another mixing problem. You have two samples of water. One sample is at a temperature of 15 degrees, and another is a temperature of 35 degrees. We'll assume this is in Celsius. You take 350 milliliters of the colder water and mix it with the hot water. Could you bring the mixture to a temperature of 40 degrees? How much of each would it take? Well, when I look at this, the hot water is at 35 degrees, the cold water is at 15 degrees. The best I could ever do is get it very, very close to 35 degrees by adding way more hot water. I could never actually get it hotter than 35 degrees by adding more 35 degree water. So 40 is not possible. So no, you could not do this. You'd need water hot as at least as hot as 40 degrees to do that. How much hot water would you have to add to bring the temperature of the mixture to 34 degrees? So again, I'm going to go back to my mass times change in temperature of 1 equals mass times change in temperature to the other. Remember, I don't have to include C here because I'm talking about two samples of water with the same specific heat. And I say that um, I take 350 milliliters of the colder water. That comes from right here times its change in temperature. Its change in temperature would go from 15 to 34 and 34 minus 15 equals 19 degrees Celsius is its temperature change. It's going to heat up by 19. And that equals the mass, and that's what they're looking for, times the change in temperature of the hot water. And the hot water is decreasing in temperature from 35 to 34, so 35 minus 34 equals 1. So this change in temperature is 1. All right, 350 times 19 is equal to 6,650 joules. And that's equal to the mass times 1. And of course, if I divide both sides by 1, then I must add a mass of 6,650 grams of hot water in order to bring this whole mixture to 34 degrees. OK. When you mix 200 milliliters of cold water at 20 degrees Celsius with 325 milliliters of warmer water, the mixture reaches a final temperature of 45 degrees. What was the initial temperature of the warm water? So I look at this and I think it's going to be a two-part question. First I have to find its change in temperature, then I can use that to find its initial temperature. So I'm starting with this again. Mass times change in temperature equals mass times change in temperature of substance 2. Um, the cold water, we have 200 milliliters or 200 grams of it, times its change in temperature is going from 20 as a starting temperature to the final temperature of the mixture, 45. 45 minus 20 equals 25 degrees temperature change. So 200 times 25 has to equal mass, um, 325 milliliters of warm water, times its change in temperature. And now I can solve. 200 times 25 equals 5,000. And 5,000 then has to equal 325 times change in temperature. I divide both sides by 325. And I get 15.38. 15.38 is equal to the change in temperature of the hot water or the warm water. But I'm not done. Remember, it asked me, what was the initial temperature of the warm water? I know that the final temperature of the mixture is 45 degrees. So that means that my warm water must have been warmer than 45 degrees. And we know it's change in temperature is 15.38. So I take my final temperature of 45 plus 15.38 and I get that the initial temperature of the water must have been 60.38 degrees Celsius in order for the temperature to warm up 20, 200 milliliters of 20 degree water to 45 degrees. All right, last question. And this one uh, is actually going to involve two different substances with two different specific heats. So we have a 265 gram block of lead at a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius added to a beaker of room temperature water. Um, at 22 degrees Celsius. The final temperature of the mixture is 23.18 degrees Celsius. How much water in milliliters was in the beaker? 
So I now have to use my full equation because I have two substances with different specific heats. I have to plug all this stuff in. So we're going to call this the metal side and this the water side. All right, for the metal, we had 265 grams of lead. Um, and I need to change these values up here. This is per uh, kilogram. So this is going to be 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. And this is uh, 0 0.130 joules per gram degree Celsius um, because it, these should have actually been for kilograms not for grams alright so these are my specific heats alright so 265 grams times the change in temperature and the change in temperature the metal block starts at 95 degrees and the final temperature of the mixture is 23.18 so 95 minus 23.18 equals 71.82 so the metal changes in temperature by 71.82 degrees and the specific heat of lead is 0.13 joules per gram again I have to make sure that the units here grams matches the units here which is grams if this was 265 kilograms I would have used 130 joules alright and that has to equal the mass of the water which we don't know, times the change in temperature of the water, and the water goes from 22 degrees starting and it warms up to 23.18. So therefore the change in temperature is simply equal to one degree cel or 1 point, uh, 1.18 degrees Celsius times the specific heat of water which is 4.18 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. So 265 times 71.82 times 0.13 equals 2,474. Um, 0.2 is equal to mass times 1.18 times 4.184 equals uh, 4.94. I divide both sides by 4.94. 2,474 divided by 4.94 equals 501.1. So the mass would have to equal 501.1 grams. So you would have 501.1 milliliters of water that we must have added this 265 gram block of lead. All right, that's it for these thermal energy calculations. I've gone through all the different types you'll have to do. If you need more help, you can watch the Khan Academy video um, or uh, come see me after school. All right, uh, until next time.